It's Friday, November 12th, and you know what that means. Disney is celebrating its second anniversary of Disney Plus. Yay! Good job making money! I'm so happy for you! Oh, ha, ha, thanks, Adam, you stupid piece of shit! Ha, ha, fiuk! Give me your money, Adam! Not a great goofy. I can do Donald by just going. <laughs> Can't do the voice, though. I can only do the, the quacking sound. Let's talk about all the announcements Disney Plus had today. For starters, to celebrate, they've made Shang-Chi and Jungle Cruise free. Uh, that, that's actually kind of nice. I was I really like Shang-Chi in the theaters. It'll be nice to watch that again. Jungle Cruise, uh, that's fine, thanks, but no thanks. Sometimes I forget that Disney owns everything, so it's nice to have a reminder when they come out with announcements like this. Let's start with Star Wars. The prequel fans are eating good today. We got some more news on the Kenobi show coming out. Uh, Hayden Christians sounds like he's back. He's training. He's ready to do that epic duel of fates again. No trailer, but they showed a stunning render, and that was enough for a lot of people. That was enough to get their, their beaks wet. Boba Fett's getting a show because he was much cooler outside of the films, I guess. Maybe we'll get a Captain Phasma movie. Or maybe we'll get the dumb alien with the, the googly eyes from Force Awakens and then she had a cameo in the later ones. She could get a spin-off show maybe from, from the new trilogy. Maybe a Princess Leia CG adventure since we already CG'd her once in Rogue One. Might as well just go for broke. I cannot honestly believe we don't have a Porg spin-off. Where is my Porg animated show? <laughs> Imagine all the hijinks they could get up to. Speaking of hijinks, Baymax has a show coming. That's right. He's back, baby. It looks to be less Big Hero 6 and more Zootopia sloth type of humor and, and focus. Seems like it's just gonna be Baymax really slowly doing things and, and making situations uncomfortable for everyone around him. It, it, so it's basically me ordering a cup of coffee. It's just not a good experience ever. I order the same goddamn thing every time and yet still it, the order eludes me. The barista is doing her best to hold it together, but she knows, she knows I'm an idiot. But we're working through things together. Disney owns Marvel, of course, too. So we have a whole string of new shows coming out. We got spinoffs. We got spinoffs of spinoffs. And of course, very prominent comic book characters hitting the screen for the first time. Like the classic character everyone knows and loves, Moon Knight. The fuck is Moon Knight? It's starring Oscar Isaac. It's going to be dark and gritty, and I, I just can't care less about it right now. But maybe it'll be good. It's possible. Tatiana Maslane, I don't know if I said that last name right, but she was in a really good show that went to a couple seasons and then for some reason continued to go more seasons. I'm forgetting the name of it, but she plays multiple characters. God, it bothers me. I could look, but I think it's more fun to have you yell at the computer or phone while I think about it. Orphan Black. I got there. I, got, I nailed it. She's the incredible She-Hulk. Um, there's a trailer for it. It looks a little, a little campy on purpose. So I guess that's good. Maybe, I don't know. Mark Ruffalo is also back as a mentor. And once again, playing that iconic disappointing Hulk that we've grown to hate from the MCU. This could go either way for me. I really like the actress, but I, it, we need to see more here. Captain Marvel Stan, Miss Marvel gets her show. I played that crappy ass Avengers game that for some reason continues to thrive or exist. I, I shouldn't say thrive. I can't imagine they're making money. Spider-Man DLC coming soon for PlayStation members, which I am, and I don't even want it. I don't even want it. And I don't know if I want this. Uh, her character in the video game was fine, though. The WandaVision villain gets a spin-off show called Hagatha and the House of Harkness. Cool. Everyone's new favorite character, Echo, gets a spin-off show from Hawkeye. Remember Hawkeye, the show that hasn't even come out yet? She's getting the show. She earned it. We love her. There's a bunch of animated stuff coming out too. Spider-Man gets a new show. X-Men gets a new show based on the 1997 hit animated series that went five seasons. Uh, whoa, wait, what? What? Fangasm! Ah! I was there, folks. I was at ground zero on X-Men the Animated Series. I was dragged against my will to church on Sundays when I wanted to stay home and watch the goddamn show. I lived through this hellscape that was Sunday morning cartoons when you could only watch one episode a week and Fox decided they deemed what was worthy of you to, to bear witness to, whether it was a rerun or whether it was an out of order episode. We didn't have the option to stream at the time. We didn't even have the option to buy the damn thing on, on VHS until much later. And even then it was like four episodes and a stick of gum if you were lucky. 
it was a depressing time to be alive when it came to TV. But also glorious at the same time because we got X-Men the Animated Series. And upon re-watching like a year or so back with my son, it doesn't hold up. It doesn't hold up at all for me. He liked it though. Until season five hit and then the quality dipped a substantial amount to the point of depressing. He couldn't even finish it. I don't even think the people that wrote the show or, or were animating it liked it at that point. I'm pretty sure that's the case. This will be a return to form though, is what they're saying. You got the original voice actors coming back, the original showrunners. It's got potential. Short for potential, it's got potential. We'll see how it goes. What if season two is coming? And as I was watching some of season one, I kept asking myself, what if Disney made a good show? based on this property, because what I was watching was not compelling, it wasn't interesting, and I didn't finish. The Doctor Strange episode was good. I hit the zombie one and I was like, eh, this is it? Oh, there's also a zombie show coming. Uh, it's a good segue there. There's a bunch of other crap I wasn't interested in, don't even want to repeat it. But uh, we have a Willow show. We got Willow coming back, TV series, based on the hit movie from the late 80s, early 90s, I think. Warwick is gonna be in it again. There's also the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special that I feel like was supposed to come out 17 years ago. I've heard about it so much. That should be coming hopefully soon in time for the holidays. Speaking of holidays, I recently watched the new Home Alone Disney Plus extravaganza. I fucking hated it. That review is coming soon, so subscribe if you haven't. There's a lot of content coming. Love them or hate them, Cars is back. They have a new on the road show. The one that actually impressed me the most was Tiana. She's getting a, a spin-off series of sorts. And I will say, Princess and the Frog, not my favorite. Not bad though, I kind of enjoy it. But I hated how they turned Tiana into the frog. She was actually a very compelling, interesting character when she was a human. So I'm hoping in this, it'll be more Tiana as a human and less of that frog nonsense. It could be good. Remember when Disney made movies? They're still doing it. They're just terrible most of the time. We have a Hocus Pocus sequel. People for some reason pretend to like Hocus Pocus and I don't get it. I never liked it. I never freaking will. My family all thinks they like it and they just watched it on Halloween and spoiler, they walked away thinking, man, this wasn't a very good movie. And I said, yeah, you idiots, I told you that. I didn't yell at them when I called them names, so. We have a reboot of Cheaper by the Dozen, which was already a reboot once or twice. So Disney's really, really stretching those creative wings. A sequel to Enchanted you want? Bring! Here you go, Disenchanted. I don't have anything to say about this. I like Amy Adams, so cool. Ice Age is back as well, baby, with a brand new big adventure. Wait, I didn't know Disney did Ice Age. They didn't used to do Ice Age, you ignorant slut, but now they do because Disney owns everything. Be happy for them. I'm looking through the list and there's so much crap. I'm just gonna read stuff off. New Pinocchio. The Beatles, Get Back. The Spiderwick Chronicles. Sometimes, some crimes go slipping through the cracks, but these two gum shoes are picking up the slack. There's no case too big, no case too small. If you need help, just call ch 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 Bandale. Rescue Rangers ch 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 Bandale. When there's danger, and no one never fails. <laughs> Limitless with Chris Hemsworth. I don't know if it has any relation to the Bradley Cooper movie. I don't think it does at all. Whoosh! Welcome to Earth with Will Smith. America the Beautiful. Sneakerella. The Proud Family. Louder and prouder! <laughs> Better Nate than ever. <laughs> it's a pun. Oh, kill me. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. It's now animated because the live action movies went to shit. I liked the first couple. Why'd you have to ruin those? Stupid Hollywood. And their agendas or something. I, I don't know. High School Musical, The Musical, The Series, Season 3, Why? Who? What? Disney Intertwined. Stuff's gonna come out constantly. A lot of it's probably gonna be trash, but we're gonna have to sift through and find the gems in there. There will be one or two. 
for sure. There will be one or two. My money is on Echo. I'm very excited for that character since the show she stars in isn't even out yet. So that's the Disney announcements. What are your thoughts in the comments? Let me know if you're excited or if you're like me and you're just gonna have to wait and see what the future brings. I, I have absolutely no feelings towards any of this at all. I'm just waiting for Mandalorian to come back. That's really all I care about right now. Leave a like if you got some information out of this or maybe a laugh or two, perhaps even both. That would be, that'd be amazing. Subscribe if you haven't and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Oh, toodles! Ha <laughs> I see you made it this far. You should subscribe to the channel and stop on by Patreon at patreon.com <laughs> slash Adam Does Movies. God, I can't keep doing that. Patreon.com slash Adam Does Movies. One dollar a month. You can afford that. You can, I, I know you can. Don't lie to me. You, you can afford $5 a month. So you can join right here and be a member on YouTube. You son of a... No? No? You, it's not your fault. You didn't know. You didn't know. But you do now. So I, ex I expect you to, to sign up. Thanks.